Good night, teacher. Good bueno, evening. How are you? Evening. Yes, good evening. <laughs> Fine. Wow, today I was the, the first. <laughs> yeah, you were the first tonight. The first one. Great. <laughs> how are you? How, how, how has, how have how you was. been? No. Oh, how have how you been? How have been your day? <laughs> okay, no. It will be. How has your day been? How has your day been? And okay. ¿Por qué no se pudo en la otra en la otra forma? ¿Cómo estuvo? Es parte de la de la estructura. Okay, look, you got this, you see in the chat? Sí, yes. Okay, how, WH question, has, auxiliary for present perfect. Then you got the subject, in this case, the subject is your day. Oh, yes. And mm -hmm. then you got the verb in past participle. That's the structure for questions in present perfect. Oh. First you got the auxiliary, then the subject, then the verb in past participle. Mm, got it. Mm, okay. Thank you. So in this case, your day becomes a subject. Mm-hmm. So what about you? How was your day? Mine was, uh, you know, it was nice because it was raining. I like it. <laughs> you like uh, hear the the drop? Uh, um, say like what the area? The drops so, or okay. the raindrops? <laughs> the raindrops. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love the raindrops. I mean, for me, that's kind of relaxing. Yes. What about you? How was yours? Uh, my day was a little tired, but uh, at the end, <laughs> it's part of my daily routine. So <laughs> um, nothing new uh, uh, in my, well, after I finish with my, uh, with my work, I um, started to watch some anime, <laughs> so so I was like uh, entertained. But uh, at my age, I don't know why. <laughs> uh, Which is your favorite one? Um, I don't I don't have like a favorite because I'm seeing uh, a lot of anime right now. <laughs> Some of some friend of mine uh, told told me that 
right now I'm on the, how can I say, etapa? Stage. Stage, otaku stage. <laughs> yeah, let me see. Mine, my favorite ones were Bleach. Oh, like yes, Bleach. Bleach. Wow. They'll, they'll know the good who one. Cool. Good one. Yeah. Good one, too. Bleach. Bleach was, yeah, that one. And let's see, Bleach, they'll know. Um, hmm. Dragon Ball? <laughs> yeah, sure. That's a classic. Uh, oh. oh, Samurai X was cool. Oh, yes. I even got the, the manga. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I got some. I have heard uh, that anime, it's really good, but I, have, I haven't seen yet. Oh, yeah, it was cool. And man, I forget. I mean, it was a long while ago. <laughs> and I, I'm trying to remember the name of one, let me see, that I really, really like. It. Check if this is. Ah, oh, yeah. Evangelion. Evangelion. Oh, yes. Well, Did you see yeah. the last movie? No, to be honest, no. Oh, you should. <laughs> right now, I, I guess uh, the, mo the movies are complete now. <laughs> oh, really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. You yeah, could no, do like a marathon, right? <laughs> yeah, you know, I used to, I used to, but before I used to have more time. Mm -hmm. Now I don't, to be honest. I mean, I cannot follow one. And, and yeah, but I used to watch some. It was cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but as I tell you, I like the old ones because I'm, I'm out of date. That's the problem. Oh. Uh. Yes, but yeah, I, uh, I mean it, it's hard to keep up to date with uh, with anime. Mm -hmm. For sure, it's really <laughs> hard. Yeah, because I mean, there's a lot appearing, popping up every other day. They got new stories and stuff. Yes, but um, so, um, tell me. I don't know. Continue, teacher. <laughs> No, no, no. Well, just to tell you that it's nice that you had the opportunity to enjoy yourself. I mean, it's cool. Once in a while, it's nice. Mm -hmm. Mister, welcome. Nice having you here. Thank you. Marcos, hello. How are you? Hello, teacher. How are you? Uh, fine. Fine. How about you? Well, you know, just here, just here, same old story. Here, working, ready to start. Okay. Our day and our dollar. And did you get wet? Did you get? Okay. And did you get wet? And did well, you know, nah, did today, you... nah. Today, no, I took the car yesterday because I was riding the motorcycle. Man, I got soaked too. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. <laughs> yeah, it is, they... it's, it's, really, it's really dangerous driving motorcycle this this time this these days. I saw a um, crash car by the Santa Ana highway. Yeah, it's dangerous. I mean, you gotta be careful. You gotta be pretty careful. Because, I mean, the, the roads get slippery and, I don't know, it's harder to break. You got to be more careful. And if you are riding a motorcycle, you got to be way careful. Yeah, yeah it's really, really dangerous for us. Uh, uh, in my case, this day, uh, 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 at the end of my working day or my shift uh, i went with my, with my mom to to one more I, I don't remember. and and in the during the journey the trip and 
the rain cuddles. <laughs> so we get wet a little bit. So what do I say? Yeah, we gotta be careful. So, yeah, we have to be careful. But at least uh, the weather is a little fresh, right? Yeah, yeah, it, it's the most important thing because the fans is very tired <laughs> to work every day. Well, you know, I actually, to be honest with you, I got my fan on. Ah, okay. <laughs> I like it cold. I like it cold. Hey, Mr. Welcome. Nice talking to you. Okay, teacher. Thanks. Ana Claudia, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm doing very well. Thank you for asking. Here, ready to start the class. That's nice. That's nice. And tell me, what's new? Well, today is another day fighting for sales, and I just got disconnected from my computer like around 7 p.m. because I was uh, literally, um, how can I say, <laughs> uh, looking for a customer, but uh, persiguiendo? Chasing. Chasing? Oh, okay. Chasing the customer, and he told me, call me in 10 minutes. I was calling, and then I'm still busy. Call me, the, my God. But finally, uh, he signed up and then made the payment. And well, and he agrees to wait for the delivery, like uh, one week and a half. But everybody, when hey, I got talk, a phrase for you, mm -hmm. I got a phrase for you. Okay. Let's see in the chat. Suck it too. Suck it through? No, hold on. <laughs> suck through, suck through is that I got pretty wet. That's empapado. Mm. Okay. You finally catch up to him. Mm. I thought it was, I finally catch him up. Yeah, because you were, uh, you were the, 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 the Chasing oh, no. him, right? Mm -hmm. Can I say, and I finally catch him up? No. Catch mm. up to him uh, is like, uh, I got you. Mm. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah, it was. But I'm still. The Not. thing is this, when you say catch up to him, is that he was like chasing and you got next to him. Uh, if you say call him, is that you grab him, don't let, they don't let him go. That's right. And that it was what really happening. Happened. Okay. So, well, uh, today, well, during this week, the it would be a kind, that would be that the, the normal thing to do following up every customer that was my second call in the day in the morning and i was following up on him convincing and at the end he said yes <laughs> and um, it's uh decreasing every day the um, amount of calls we are getting and also people saying yes that they agree to the new price because um starting yesterday uh, the system um, has a new price, ten dollar a month, and we have other. Uh, um, there, there are another providers, uh, so there's there are competitors. They are offering better prices. People sometimes they don't decide because of the features or benefits of uh, a product. They decide because of the price. And all of them always say that, you know, the fuel is too high right now now nowadays and you don't know what's going on, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm fighting right now to reach my 100%. I haven't, I haven't uh, made it. No, I haven't. I haven't. I haven't made it. It will be because it's impressive. No, right? I haven't made it. 
I haven't yet. made it yet. Ah, okay. I haven't made it yet. And let's see what's happened. And Monday will be a, a day that we are expecting not getting calls because of the Memorial Day, you know. Sunday, oh, yeah, Monday yeah. will be a slow day. Yeah, it will. Yeah, but I, it's my philosophy is one day at a time. So tomorrow we don't know. I'm all, I'm a believer of surprises, and I have had surprises from the past. In the past, that suddenly in the last day, uh, one of those customers that I've been chasing <laughs> for months. Uh, go suddenly they say okay you know yes and, and they are purchasing making a big deal something like that so let's see what's happening okay let's mm -hmm. see what happens let's mm -hmm. hope for the best mm -hmm. thank you and see you for sharing with us welcome <laughs> jose wilfredo hello how are you hello teacher how are you i'm just fine what about you um today uh, to be honest, in my job, everything good. But uh, since I guess that 10 minutes ago, I saw one news uh, from USA, from Texas. I don't know if you heard that about it. No. Okay. The, shoot, right? Yeah. Where, what? where one shooting uh, kill. 18 childs and oh, three really? adults. Yeah. Wow. I don't know how can happen that. To be honest, I guess that maybe that's happened because the parents don't punish their childs when they do about things. And I don't know, maybe it, or even could be that those childs doesn't have, well, those childs don't have the attention that they need. Yeah. I guess, I guess that for that situation, those uh, cases happen. And it's like here, maybe here doesn't happen uh, here don't happen any anything similar because by a weapon here uh, is too expensive and also it's not easy to get it because you have to get a license to to bring one gun but in here i guess that is the same uh about those guys that are in the, how can we say that? Uh, those guys that, that are dumpster could be in this country. Yeah. Yes, yeah. So maybe their parents never punish them or even don't give the the attention that they really need. Yeah, it's a it's a complex a complex problem yeah. actually. Yeah. Well, to be honest, we have a one society a society 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 um really complex. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, that's right. And for other and for other um, for other case teacher, today I finished my enrollment at the university. Today oh, really? I finished my enrollment to the university. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's that's really fine. That's really great. Yeah, those are great news. Yeah, those are really so, great news. When you start, so, uh, well, first I need to to pass the exam. But now um, I was checking the the all courses that I need to review uh, for the exam. But I guess that I will prepare for it. Uh, you'll do good, you'll see. Yeah, that's right. 
just now that I have to plan my schedule at all. And yeah, you will have to slow the a little bit down the going to the beach, you know. Yeah, that's right. But that's gonna be only it's worthy. Five, it's worthy. Years. But you know, teacher, every effort have the will be a work. Yeah. Okay. Every effort that we make has their own award. Yeah, it does. It does. Yeah, that's that's right. right. Yeah. Well, so glad to hear. Those are good news. Yeah, that's right, teacher. That's thank you very much for sharing with us. Uh, thank you. Thank you to hear. It. No, it's great. It's great, man. Yeah, that's right. You'll do good. You'll do good. You'll see. Yes, I think so, teacher. I think so. I'm sure you'll do good. Welcome, Mr. Wilfredo. Thank you, teacher. And see you. Mr. Jose Rivas. Hello, good evening. Sorry, teacher. So uh, actually, I'm busy now, so I'm still. No taking... problem, no problem, no problem. Sure. So I will ask you just for 10 more minutes and I will be That's right okay, there. that's okay, don't worry. Thanks so much for that. Let's see. Maria Alejandra, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you? I think I find you. You think you're fine. How comes? <laughs> uh, I think that I start um, migraine or migraine. Oh, migraine again. Uh -huh. And I have a nausea. <laughs> oh, really? You feel nauseous? Yes, but I don't know. I only wait for to take a dinner and drink a pills and maybe stay better. Okay, let's hope you get better. Well, relax a little bit. We are going to have more activities. Welcome and thank you for being here. Thank you. Sir. Okay, let's see. Okay, well, guys, before we move forward, let me get the attendance, please. Ada Susana Caceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Alejandro Alfredo Sagasto Medias. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present, teacher. Danny Josué García Martínez. Present, teacher. Eloisa Beatriz Mercado Mancía. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Jairi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Eliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Irene Susena Cuellar Albanés. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. José Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. Thank you, Eliana. Uh, José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present, teacher. Juan Carlos Romero López. Present, teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Present, teacher. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. Present. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Okay, guys. Well, before I move on, let's see. Uh, 
today, as all of you are aware, uh, you got the, a, a message in the WhatsApp group, right? And I will read it to you. It says, por medio del presente, hacemos un atento recordatorio de nuestro proceso de reinscripción para el próximo módulo de clases de inglés online, inglés avanzado 1, para lo cual es necesario que pueda solicitar o recordar a su empresa de la documentación de reinscripción. A continuación, le compartimos la documentación requerida y ahí les aparece a ustedes la actualización del formulario de inscripción. Eh, se supone que ya se lo enviaron a las empresas. Adjuntar una fotocopia de la planilla correspondiente al mes de abril. Y fecha límite de inscripción. Esto es lo, lo oh, 30 de mayo del 2022. Y fecha tentativa de inicio 6 de junio. En nuestro caso, les aclaro, nosotros no iniciamos 6 de junio. Porque nosotros... Eh, Terminamos el segundo. Déjenme, déjenme corregir un pequeño detalle. Sí, nosotros terminamos el 6 de junio. Eh, el mensaje que les enviaron a ustedes, la fecha de inscripción sí corresponde a lo nuestro. Eh, la fecha de inicio es la única de que no está no está clara, realmente nosotros tendríamos que estar iniciando lo más pronto sería el 7 sería ir de corrido aunque normalmente nos dan un par de días pero sí, lo que nos interesa en este momento es la fecha límite de inscripción 30 de mayo, así que por favor este, en la medida de lo posible verifiquemos eso, que toda la documentación esté inscrita le repito, para el 30 de mayo. Ahora bien, les comento el porqué del recordatorio. I'm sorry, now I can switch into English. Uh, the reminder is because, uh, as you know, this is a high level. And if, if the majority of you don't uh, enroll, the course doesn't open. And the situation is this, there's not too many students waiting for these levels. I mean, it's the advanced levels. Right now in advance, there's just two or three groups. These are the hardest ones because uh, some people drop out. I'll be honest with you. So, uh, as far as possible, uh, please enroll. And I mean, you have made a big effort being here up to now. And I mean, it's been a long while. Let's finish it. You are almost, almost there. And we just need to make a little bit more of an effort. It's push a little bit more. It's going to be good for you. And I mean, up to now, you can see the results. I mean, you are speaking a lot. So do your best. You'll see. And Please, I will be. I will be making. I will be reminding you every day. Uh, the 30th is the deadline, so check it out, and I will tell you why. Uh, les, perdón, nuevamente paso a español. Seré breve nuevamente uh, porque quiero ser claro. Les voy a estar recordando cada día y les menciono el porqué. Tengo dos alumnos que los perdimos el módulo pasado porque ellos creían que la empresa había enviado la documentación y de la empresa no la enviaron. Y eran dos alumnos que habían, habían aprobado el curso. Sí lo pasaron, pero no continuaron porque la persona encargada de recursos humanos simplemente no lo hizo, se le escapó. Estemos pendientes para que no pierdan su oportunidad. El problema es que atrás de nosotros para que llegue nuevamente a ese nivel está un poquito más tardado. So, do it. Well, let's continue. Let's see, for tonight we are going to have, well, a little bit more of conversation. Then we are going to go to working groups, answering two small questions. We are going to work a lot with the manual today. today. And then we are going to have a conversation. 
practice and model. Uh, we are going to work with vocabulary. We are going to do vocabulary practice. And it's going to be interesting. We have a lot of activities to do, but tonight we are going to work mostly on the manual. Uh, the grammar that we are going to be watching this week is quite simple. Pretty simple. We are going to be working with models and I got a PPT for you guys. It's going to be easy, easy. Don't worry, it's not going to be long like the last one. So we will have fun this week. It's going to be interesting. And let's see who else is around right now. Danny. Hello, Danny. How are you? Hello, DJ. Well, um, <laughs> how can I say? What can I say? I'm fine. I'm fine. Um, I'm healthy. I think that's good. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. I'm here and for <laughs> yeah, and working in one thing still, but but in place too. <laughs> um, and multitasking some some time, but um. I have to be, <laughs> but um, mm, in the other hand, um, yeah, I'm okay. Um, um, to be honest, um, I think I I am the last student to join in that course, right? Um, at the beginning. Um, <laughs> um is it, it was a little um, hard to me to get used to uh, for the um, the schedule um I don't know but um, but today um I'm enjoying you know <laughs> I'm enjoying the, the class um um i think um i have i have the habit it's right <laughs> yeah i mean you get the habit yeah. after a lot after yeah. a while and yeah and it's good that you enjoy the class yeah 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 i enjoy it um what else um Oh, just that, um, yeah, just that I'm having class. <laughs> very, okay. very, very interesting. <laughs> the kind of question question that you <laughs> you make. <laughs> a little deep thinking, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, once in a while. It's just that, I mean, at the level that you are right now, it's quite important for you to start thinking more complex ideas. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it does good. That's good. That's good. And you know, um it is is um it's a really weird I don't know um my my ability I think uh, to read in English is very good, I think. Because of my job, I have to read uh, books and papers and something like that. Um, but <laughs> to talk is a little, it's a little um, harder, I think, for me. But um, I'm it's, trying. <laughs> it's, well, you know, it's a skill. And as with every skill, uh, you need to practice. The yeah. most important thing is to practice it. And that's what you gotta do. I mean, whenever you got the opportunity, and if you don't have that many opportunities, is uh, what you can do is uh, whenever we're in class, I mean, take advantage of any opportunity that arises during the class in group works, uh, when I ask for a question. I mean, participate the most. The more you participate, and uh, I mean, at the beginning, it's hard. At the beginning, we make plenty of mistakes that's normal 
but the more you participate, the better you become at it. It's like okay. any skill, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And, right. it, and that happens if you stop speaking it, I mean, you start losing it. Yeah. And that's a fact, believe me. I mean, yeah. whenever I got a too long a vacation, like two, three weeks, and I don't use it, uh, I mean, I, I always breathe in English. That's that's what I do, and I watch movies and stuff, but I don't usually speak it when I'm on vacation. Yeah. So when <laughs> I start like teaching again, I need to prepare again, because I mean, uh, uh, the very first two, three classes, my mouth hurts. Yeah. Yeah. Because because <laughs> we vocalize different in another language. So yeah, I mean, definitely. Practice. That's yeah. the the okay. yeah. the only advice I can give you for this is practice and don't worry about making mistakes. We all do. That's normal and that's part of learning. As with any skill, it's like riding a bicycle. I mean, you started like, uh, like at the beginning. We were like, you know moving we couldn't handle it well then we were falling uh, getting up and in the end you did it well but yeah. if you stop doing it after a couple of years and you try to do it again at the beginning you're a little bit wobbly <laughs> but you need to get again the skill so practice yeah. that's the only advice yeah. i can give you practice as much yeah. as possible with yourself yeah. on the mirror Okay. <laughs> right. And, and don't be yeah. afraid of, don't be afraid of, I mean, if you are alone in your house, don't be afraid of talking to yourself in English out loud. Okay. That okay. helps. Thank you. Thank you for your nice. advice. Yeah. No, thanks to you for being here. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see. Who else do I have here? Suleyma, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Um, I feel um, a little bit tired, but I'm okay. Really? Yeah, today was a really busy day. And really? Why? What did you do today? My, according to my cell phone, Today I walk around five kilometers. <laughs> Say what? Yeah, according to the, the app of my cell phone today, I walk around five kilometers. Mm -hmm. Just in my in my in my job. Mm, that's a lot. Yeah, but it's, it's good for health. <laughs> yeah, but you know, walking well, for me is no good. I don't like walking. Why? Because we walking. Time. Well, I don't I don't usually have time. And I I mean most of the day I spend it standing up. Oh, yeah. So for me, walking for fun is not good. Yeah. But I, I think walking is uh, in our. Oh, it's age, a good exercise. It's it's, yeah, it's necessary. Yeah, and, and, yeah, I don't deny it. It's just. It's a an need. It's, it's not a hobby. Yeah. It's a need. <laughs> Yeah, and that's why working for a hobby, man, that's not a good hobby. <laughs> I'm too lazy. No, it's not that I'm lazy. As I tell you, it's just that sometimes my feet are killing me at the end of the day. Yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine. Yeah. And just imagine, you know. uh, I have a, my, my little dog and I had to take to take him for a walk before I go to to work every day. Early in the morning? Yep, around four and a half in the morning. Four and a half, 4.30 in the morning? Yep, 
because Man, uh, that's terrible uh, at that time i'm bailed to the world <laughs> yeah but uh, uh, i go out of my house around 5 five twenty. really yep Man. because i i start i start to work around 6 15 yeah in the i remember when i i remember when i was like that and what time do you finish your schedule um around 4 25 from 6 to 4 mm -hmm. yeah every day man that's a lot yeah But I have 23 years working there, so. <laughs> mm, two benefits. And you're used to it. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Suleyma, welcome. Nice having Thank you. Here. Thank you. Let's see. Yeah, I still got time for one more. Steven, how are you? Mr. Villacorta. Hello. Hello. I'm here. Hello. Look, I got a problem with you, my friend. Ah. Okay. Tell me what's your what's your first name? Steven. Steve or Steven? Uh, Steven. Steven. Okay, perfect. Perfect. I'm just fixing up something here. Okay. Okay, let me see. Yeah. I got it fixed. Okay, thank you. So tell me, how's everything? Playing. It was a, a very long day, but uh, I tried to do any uh, any important thing in my in my job. So I I, I got a a pretty a pretty good day. I can't complain. Yeah, too much okay, work. That's cool. Yeah, you really can complain tired. too much. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty sure. Yeah, you know, it's it's almost mandatory to 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 complain. I mean, we gotta complain of the job. If we don't complain at the job, they're going to take advantage of us. I'm <laughs> kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> so okay. tell me, what's the weather like over there? It's pretty cold. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I I nice. Let let me let me see. Let me see. Uh, that time we had sixteen Ooh. degrees. Yeah. Degrees. 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 Thank you. Sixteen. Degrees. Yeah. And so when you come raining. back to El Salvador, you feel hot. The weather here. It's it's horrible. It's horrible. Oh well, you go to San Miguel, right? But not the, not all the time because I live in San Salvador. Oh, okay, just, but still, you feel it. You feel the difference. <laughs> yeah, but when I moved to El Salvador, I tried to get uh, one weekend to the San Miguel. So I try to <laughs> I try to to prepare my mind to that weather. Yeah, yeah, because that's a a hot, hot <laughs> weather, the one that you face after being Re in the, really, the fresh really one. Hot weather, yeah. Yeah, I can't imagine. It's terrible. Yeah, it's very terrible. How but, long have you been in Guatemala? Um, in this last travel? Yeah, well, I mean, how long have you been working in Guatemala? Like uh, three months, uh -huh. four months, one year? Month and a half. A month and a half. Yeah, because okay. I was working. And how long is it going to be? I'm sorry, please continue. Ah, yeah. So for the same company, I was working in another country, but a half and a, a month and a half, they moved, they moved me to Guatemala. Oh, where were you before? Ecuador. Oh, really? Yeah. 
equal. Oh man, what part of there? That's hot. I mean, hot certain about. areas, certain areas no, are mister. hot. No, mister, no, 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 not at all. Uh, you're, you're pretty sure that if you are talking about the, the, the beach or something that, like that, it's very hot. But I was working in, I don't know in English, but it's La Sierra. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, yeah, the, the, the higher, mm, the higher yeah. part of the country. Because in Ecuador, begin the Andes. Yeah, I so, know, but I mean, yeah. sir, the, 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 the area that is close to the beach is hot, hot as yeah. hell. I mean, hotter than here. Yeah, I know yeah, that the, yeah. the, the capital is cold. The capital yeah, is actually, it's fresher than here. Yeah, but I don't work there. Uh, even I I just know, I, I know once um, the beach, but it, it was pretty beautiful, but my job, uh, it was at the Sierra. <laughs> Oh, that's the cool. weather. Weather was pretty, pretty cold, and all the time was raining. It was beautiful. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, uh, when you when you're talking about the, the 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 mountains, I mean, some of their mountains they go higher than three thousand meters yeah. from sea level. I mean, we are talking about pretty high. Uh, now that you're talking about that, uh, I was working in a in a place that called Cuenca. Cuenca, it's maybe the the most beautiful place I was in, in Ecuador. Even North Americans and Europeans, Europeans, when, Europeans. Thank you. They moved to Cuenca when they all uh, older. So it's a pretty, pretty beautiful place because they are mountains, lakes, rivers in the middle of the city. The architecture, it was pretty wonderful. Yeah. And the, we can talk about the weather. Yeah. Uh, the How long were you there? Sorry? How long were you there? A year. A year oh my gosh you really have fun yeah <laughs> yeah that's true let me see uh, yeah I, Cuenca I used to read a lot about the uh, South American cities they got uh, the 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 style of the of the buildings they say it's beautiful they got uh, I mean they got a lot of churches and they are like, I don't know, is it colonial? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, something yeah. like that, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. You're closer because um, something that I really enjoy the mm, Alcaldía? <laughs> city Hall? City Hall, yeah. City Hall? Yeah, City okay. Hall. Okay, the, the City Hall they had some rules by all the kind of building. At the center of the city, the rule was all the roof of any kind of building, building, sorry, they had to be teja. <laughs> I don't know how to call it in English. Yeah. Oh, really? Tiles? Yeah. No, uh, tiles, uh, no. At the center of the city. Yeah. And about the... Um, yeah, roof tile. Yeah, roof tile. That's roof the word, tile. I'm sorry. Yeah. Roof tile. So, so in this case, you would say uh, tiles, just tile. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, but if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, actually the, the, the Cuenca City Hall, I, I was reading, actually, I remember uh, reading a book, well, it was not reading a book because it was uh, mostly pictures. The city mm -hmm. hall is like a, it's like a, it's not a corner. It's like in the, in the axis of a, of a triangle. 
And I, I remember watching the, the, that the, the, the structure was kind of interesting. Yeah, it was, it's pretty interesting and it's wonderful. Well, it's so nice. You have the opportunity to, to, to know that. enjoy and meet those places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's and, the truth. And they pay you for that. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. That's all that all the people says. Yeah, you get paid for doing what you like and at beautiful places. What else can you ask for? <laughs> no more. Yeah. So that's what I say. I can complain. Yeah. yeah. But still, you got to complain a little bit. There's always something to complain. <laughs> <laughs> nice talking okay. to you. Welcome. Thank you. Okay, guys. But now, uh, welcome, everyone. But now we are going to go, well, to crisis. You know, uh, the unit uh, that we are going to be working on is unit number three. Lesson three refers to managing crisis. Uh, and the first two questions we are going to be working with are these ones. How would you define our, an organizational crisis? What would you do if your business found itself in a difficult situation due to an unexpected crisis? Okay, guys. Uh, you're going to be working in small groups. You're going to be discussing those two questions. Just let me get everything right with the groups. Okay, let's see. Hold on. Okay, rooms are open, please jump in. Hello. 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 Teacher, could you send a question, please? I send them. You didn't get them? No, because you share it in the Zoom chat, but when we when you move the participant to the... Oh, they yeah. disappear. Yeah, that's why. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Mm -hmm. Give me just a second.
Uh -huh, Roxana, where did you go? You left me talking to myself. Let's see, guys, you need to go to the rooms. Let's see, Roxana. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, yeah, let's see, let's see. Roxana, you were with, uh, send you here, and Alfredo, I'll send you to the same one. Hello guys. Hello teacher. So let's see, there's Ramon here. Hello Ramon. Hello teacher. Okay, you got the question? You got it also in the WhatsApp group. You can check it out there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, crisis. Okay, let's see. How can I define an organization? I have no idea. Uh, I, I think that are talking about business, but um, maybe I could define it like any kind of sort of situation that can make uh, the function the the function the the main function of the company that let me see that can really do it can function like like company I don't know uh, I don't get it to be honest. Or maybe um, when they are working and start to lose money or could be sorry could be could be could yeah could be lost uh, money and i don't know maybe when they lose uh, some business with their um, providers i don't know when they but, don't produce the same product, for example, because they have problems with the floor production or the machines, maybe it's yeah. a crisis in the company. Because if you don't produce the, the, the product or, or the service, you can sell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the result of any problem. Okay, um, what would you do if your business found itself in a difficult situation due to unexpected, you know, unexpected crisis, Roxana? Well, I think that, uh, well, in my case, if I had a company, maybe I will have a um, save for, um, for that situation and I could use that money for or to solve the situation, I don't know. Or maybe uh, if I have contact, I, I will um, talk with them and maybe I can get a credit for the products, I don't know, for the materials. Okay. Okay, that's an example. Yeah. A uh, practical example. I think it doesn't matter um, the, the way or the kind of job or business that you had. <sighs> what I do it, what I will do, um, maybe try, first of all, 
try to find out what is the reason to my <clears throat> to my crisis because if you you are talking about lose lose money but that's a result it's not a problem you have to to look what are the reasons that you are losing money like it's about identify the problem right yeah, yeah. identify the problem in the so pandemic we, yeah continue. no continue continue Okay, you say an example, a practical example, the pandemic, it was a, a, in a situation that many companies had to close their business or decrease, decrease the, the, the money. So what can we do? First of all, you had to find out what is the origin, the origin of that situation. Then if, if you find out, you could think about um, so many ways to to solve, yeah. It doesn't matter what what uh, gotta be the problem. Uh, I think I don't know the others. I was telling that the um, I have a friend and he start uh, selling in a uh, I don't know. Uh, face mask and alcohol for the pandemic. And he told me that uh, the city hall, I don't know how to say it, a cotization. The thing is that they need to prepare the products and sell to the city hall, but the city hall was fake because and other guys uh, work supposed, supposed in the, in the city hall, but they aren't working in the city hall. So they oh. steal the product. So my friend lost money, product, and time. Yeah. So it's the, soul. the crisis was that. Yeah. Yeah. It's not just a result. I got it. Now I got it. Now I got it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're mm -hmm. right. But maybe your friend should have to get more information before uh, in invertir. In, oh, okay. I, uh, before it all, I don't, I don't have a company. <laughs> I job. I work for a company. I know how, how to to Mm, manejar the business because I don't have that knowledge. I talk, him, I just talk. Him. So I, I think maybe we had to get uh, all the information. So it doesn't matter the kind or the sort of the business that we are gonna do. We had the security to make it uh, make it worse. But the best way possible, I think, and in, in the real practice is very difficult. It's very easy just talking like I I doing right now, but in the in the reality it could be a pretty different situation. So uh, uh, it should have been a, a pretty hard difficult to your friend. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I imagine that is the crisis was. Uh, very difficult because you need to think such a boss, not yeah. such a employee. Employees, yeah, you're right. Yeah. If you want to do something different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. <clears throat> what else? It's just that two qu two question. Yes. Okay. Okay. We're.
Okay, guys. Well, it was interesting. I was listening to some of you in the groups and quite interesting. But now, uh, believe it or not, it's time to get the second attendance. Let me get it. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Good evening. Alejandro Alfredo, good evening. Alejandro Alfredo Segasto Medias. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Dani Josué García Martínez. Present teacher. Eloisa Beatriz Mercado Mancía. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Jairi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Diana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Irina Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present teacher. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. José Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Romero López. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Juliana. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Present teacher. Roberto Luis Sumaña Orellana. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. Present. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Thank you. Okay, now we are gonna go work on the manual. Let's see. Here we go. Okay, this is the conversation for tonight's class. And it goes like this. Michael, I heard of the crisis you are having at your electronics factory. What's going on? Are you okay? We are not doing that great. Something caught fire in the storage room and we lost the production from the past two months. The machinery from the assembly lines was damaged and the computers got wet when the firefighters came. Oh my, I'm sure the insurance company will see to the damage cost. That's the issue. We took it easy thinking none of this will have happened. So we delayed the paperwork for the insurance. Goodness, check if there is any kind of coverage from the insurance you have for the other businesses. I'm sure there must be some little help there at least. I repeat. Michael, I heard of the crisis you're having at your electronics factory. What's going on? Are you okay? We are not doing that great. Something caught fire in the storage room and we lost the production from the past two months. The machinery from the assembly lines was damaged and the computers got wet when the firefighters came. Oh my, I'm sure the insurance company will see to the damage cost. That's the issue. We took it easy thinking none of this will have happened. So we delayed the paperwork for the insurance. Goodness. Check if there is any kind of coverage from the insurance you have for the other businesses. I'm sure there must be some little help there at least. Okay, guys. Again, you're going to be working with the same people. So please get into the rooms and let's practice. Three minutes.
<coughs> we are going to wait here because of the connections a little bit unstable to run. So we delayed the paperwork for the insurance. Goodness. Check it if there is any key of coverage from the insurance you have for the other businesses. I'm sure there must be some little help. There are lists. Teacher, all, all of this is about continuity of business plans, right? Yep. Okay. Okay, Jose Wilfredo, are you ready? Jose Wilfredo. Maybe he's not around. Chase. And you, Jay? I am Michael. Okay. Michael, I heard of the prices you're having at your electronics factory. What's going on? Are you okay? We are, we are not doing that great. Something caused fire in the storage room and we lost the production from the past two months. The machinery from the assembly lines with the damage and the computer got wet, wet when the fire hairs came. Oh my. I sh I'm sure the insurance company will see it to the damage cost. That's the issue. We took it AC thinking thinking now is the good ha happening. So we delayed the paperwork for the insurance. Goodness. Check if there is any kind of coverage for the insurance you have for the other business. I'm sure there must be something little help but there at least. Okay. It's delayed. What's the pronunciation? The the delay. Delayed. 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 Okay, teacher. Thank you. Neuron.
that was faster. Hey guys, I told you a few minutes. Three minutes. Very few. Yeah, just three minutes. Uh, because we've got a lot to do. We've got a lot on our plate to manage. Let's see. Jose Marcos, well, I got two Jose's. Jose Marcos and Jose Smin. Jose Marcos, you'll start. Okay. Uh, Michael, I hear of the crisis you're having at your electronic factory. What's going on? Are you okay? Uh, we are not doing that great. Something caught fire in the storage room and we lost the production from the past two months. The machinery from the assembly lines were damaged and the computers got wet when the five fires came. Oh my, I'm sure the insurance company received to a damaged cost. That's the issue. We took we took it easy thinking none of the none of this will have happened. So we delayed the paperwork for the insurance. Oh goodness. Check if there is any kind of coverage from the insurance we have for the other business. I'm sure there must be some little help there at least. Okay, thank you. Suleyma, Bon, and Danny. Okay. Uh, yeah, just start, Suleyma. Michael, I heard of the crisis you have. You are having at your electronics factory. What's going on? Are you okay? We are not doing that great. Something caught fire in the storage room and we lost the production from the past two months. The machinery from the assembly lines was damaged and the computers got wet when the fire fires came. Oh my, I'm sure the insurance company will see to the damage cost. That's the issue. We took it easy thinking none of, none of this would have happened. So we delayed the paperwork from the insurance. Goodness. Check if there is any kind of coverage from the insurance you have for the other businesses. I'm sure there must be some little help there at least. Yeah, Danny, insurance, insurance. Okay. Fernando, you ready? I always say. Okay, cool. <laughs> That's nice. Steven is your partner. Okay. Steven, you will start. Let's see. I guess Steven is not available, but there's Heidi ready to talk to you. Yeah, he cannot right now. He just takes me. Uh, Heidi. Okay. You start, Heidi. Okay, Michael. I heard of the crisis you're having at your electronics factory. What's going on? Are you okay? We are not doing that great. Something caught, caught fire in the storage room and we lost the production from the past two months. The machinery from the assembly line was damaged and the computers got wet when the firefighters came. Oh, my. I'm sure the insurance company will see to the damage costs. That's the issue. We took it easy thinking now of this will have happened. So we delayed the paperwork for the insurance. Goodness, check if there is any kind of coverage for the insurance you have for the other businesses. I'm sure there must be some little help there at least. Perfect, thank you. Maria Alejandra and Ana Claudia. Okay. Maria Alejandra, you start. 
Okay. Michael, I hear all the crisis you are having at your electronic factory. What's going on? Are you okay? We are not doing that great. Something caught fire in the storage room and we lost that production from the past two months. The machinery from the assembly lines was damaged and the computers got wet when the firefighters came. Oh my, I'm sure the insurance company will see to that much cost. That's the issue. We took it easy thinking none of the uh, i'm sorry that's the issue we took it easy thinking none of this will have happened so we delayed the paperwork for the insurance goodness uh, check if there is any kind of coverage for the insurance you have for the other business i'm sure there must be some little help there at least okay Thank you. Very well done. Juan Carlos and Ada. Juan Carlos, you'll start. Okay. Uh, Michael, I heard of the crisis you are having at your electronics, electronic factory. What's going on? Are you okay? We are, we are not doing that great. Something called fire the storage room and they will lose the production from the past two months. The machinery from the assembly lines got damaged and the computers got wet when the fire fires came. Oh my, I'm sure the insurance company will see the damage costs. That's the issue. We took it as a thinking now, no? of this good ha happening. So we delayed the paperwork for the insurance. Goodness. Check if there is any kind of coverage from the insurance you have for the other businesses. I'm sure there must be some little help there at least. Other assembly, assembly lines. Assembly lines. Firefighters. Fire, fire, fighters. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Jose Wilfredo, ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, Irene. Okay. You with Wilfredo, you start, Irene. Okay. Michael, I heard of the crisis you are having at the electronic factory. What's going on? Are you okay? We are not doing that great. Something caught fire in the storage room and we lost the production from the past two months. Machinery from the assembly line uh -huh. was damaged. And the computers Hijo, got wet when the firefighters came. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. 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 Goodness, check if there is any kind of coverage from the insurance you have for, for the other businesses. I'm sure there must be some little help, help there at least. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, Roxana. Yes. Alejandro Alfredo, you ready? I guess Alejandro Alfredo has been having problems with connection. And Ramon. Hello, teacher. 
Okay, Ramon, you and Roxana. Roxana, you start. Okay, Michael, I heard of the crisis you have. You are having at your electronic factory. What's going? What's going on? Are you okay? We are not doing that great. Something caught fire in the storage room, and we lost the production from the past two months. The machinery. I don't know, uh, from the assemble, assembly lines was damaged and the computers got with when the fire fires come. Oh my, I'm sure the insurance company will see to the damage cost. That's the issue. We took it, took it easy thinking none of this will have happened. So we delay the paperwork for the insurance. Goodness, check if there is any kind of coverage from the insurance you have for the insurance you have for the other businesses. I'm sure there must be some little help there at least. Okay, thank you very much. Francisco, you ready? Okay, guys, now, 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 now. Well, we need to discuss a couple of questions related to the same situation. And let me get them for you. Actually, the questions are right here. Let me show you. Uh, remember that we are working with the INSA for minor in page number 25, okay? So the questions we are going to work with are this one. Is it all right to assume nothing will go wrong in a business venture? Which possibilities would you take into account to prepare a plan in case of a crisis? Now, I am sharing the questions with you in the in the Zoom chat and also in the WhatsApp chat, okay? There you go. Is it all right to assume nothing will, work, will go wrong in a business venture? Which possibilities would you take into account to prepare a plan in, a case, in case of a crisis? And let me share them also right here. Okay, for this activity, you're going to be switching partners, okay? So you're going to be working with somebody else. Now let me just... Okay, guys, please jump in.
the defenses and costs that that will implicate into the account right and yes that that i will do to prepare myself on a case of crisis and as we've been talking in the previous conversation crisis it will be different depending on the business, right? Because us working in a call center, a crisis, something different mm -hmm. than a factory or another type of business. Um, I don't know if Alejandro can hear us. I don't know if you are still here. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. thank you. Please give us your insight for the number one, number two about the possibilities yeah i think that it depends on uh or on, on, on the type of on the kind of the business mm -hmm. uh, if it's a product or it's a service that mm -hmm. that is offered mm -hmm. uh, if it's a product uh, you can i don't know provisionar uh, inventory mm -hmm. depending depending on the season mm -hmm. and if, if it's a service i think that you can uh, see if uh, you hire or you fire people mm -hmm. i don't know the, 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 the depend. exactly good point uh -huh. and, and do you think it's uh, all right to assume that nothing will go wrong in a business venture? Mm, well, in a business, there's always a, a risk, I think. Or, or in everything, there's always a risk. Uh, if there were no risk uh, involved, mm -hmm. it will not be a business. It will be named mm -hmm. as a profit or something else. <laughs> exactly. uh, a business, a business recover from any problem or um, I prefer for example in a IT business I prefer um, um, server for emergencies to have system available for the clients um, uh, for example a database I have one uh, database to recover if there are any attacks and steal my information. Or what else? Mm, I have, uh, I will have in two accounts, uh, auxiliary server, if uh, another server that hosts a system goes down. Um, I don't know if you, the question is related with that or with the possibilities like uh Suleyma said um, um, natural disaster or keys or or war. I don't know if the question is related to that. Okay, insurance are a very good action 
Yeah, that you go. You that the manager is the most important to guide or have a different signal when you don't come. Finish, guys. Finish, teacher. Perfect. Let's go back. Okay, let's see. Heidi, hello, Heidi. Good evening. How are you? How are you, teacher? I'm doing great. That's nice. So glad to hear it. Tell me, Heidi, uh, is it all right to assume nothing will go wrong in a business venture? Of course not, teacher. It is something unreal to think no, nothing ever will happen. So we have to be prepared. Okay, then which possibilities would you take into account to prepare a plan in case of a crisis? You have to take, um, you have to take in account every single aspect that could uh, lead your business to um, a situation that where, where you cannot operate. So you have to make a good continuity of business plan. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Let's see, what do you think about it, Irene? Tell me, which possibilities would you take into account to prepare a plan in case of a crisis? Irene? Hi, teacher, good evening. Good evening. The second question is for you. Okay, I think that it's so important to prepare a plan in case in case of crisis because uh, the companies talking about the companies uh, need to be a be plan and uh, and have an innovation plan for for survival in crisis. For example, now that we are. Uh, we are the companies uh, have problem with different kind of um, things like a supply chain, la cadena de suministro, yeah. and these companies need to have a plan for improve their operations. Okay, excellent. Let's see, and last one, Coxana, what about you? The second question? Yeah, please. Well, uh, I think that the first step is get uh, insurance for the machinery or uh, production or the property. And the other, ha the other hand may be uh, for example, uh, when we uh, talking about the conversation, 
the problem was in the storage room. Maybe if you need to um, use a storage room, uh, you can divide the production into a storage room. If you have a problem in one, you have the other one. This is an option. Okay, perfect, perfect. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, let's move on. Again, we go to the Instafor manual, unit number three, page number 26. Read the following examples of crises that may attack an organization. Match them with the correct category from the book, from the box. Check your answers with a classmate. We got natural disasters, power outage, IT system failure, strike, product recall. So you need to read the info, get into the groups and answer them, okay? You're gonna label them. Remember it's page 26, exercise four. Groups are open. The flu crew on British Airways airlines stopped their usual activities due to a dispute over late payments. Their action delayed many passengers. Right. Right. The fleet drop to Trisus or where I lay stupid. ET system fire. System IT system failed. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Also installing us before to record a lot. One hundred cell phone which. Mm -hmm. 
what is a strike like this? Yes, it's the second oh, strike. Part. Yes, it's the mm -hmm. second is the it is system pirate, no? <laughs> Samsung and is the second is Dublin. It's a port recall a lot of product. That's a product recall. Uh huh. That's a product, product recall. recall. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Then Netflix received countless complaints when their service went offline because of a faulty glitch in the system that interrupted common requests to their main service. Uh -huh. IT system failure. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So the second. The fourth one. The Iroquois is Japan. Plan out to destroy our manipulation facility or sorting in car manufacturing role. <laughs> Supplying housing for economical loss, small company. Natural defect. No. I think. A massive power solution for one. So the fourth one yeah. is a uh, natural disaster. Power interruption. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's go back. Sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry that connection is giving me problems tonight. Let's see. Let's do the exercise. Here we go. Okay, number one. The Fleet crew of the British Airways airlines stopped their usual activities due to a dispute over late payments. Their actions delayed many passengers. Okay, let's see. Uh, Mr. Rivas, which is the answer, which is the correct option? The correct one for the first one, right, is yeah. the strike. 
Okay, perfect. You are completely right. Strike. Number two, Roxana, please read it and give me the answer. Ana Claudia, please, number two. Number two. I'm here. I'm sorry. Oh. I was talking with the microphone. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay, Roxana, let's do it. Okay. Samsung is doubling its effort to recall a lot of 100 million. 100,000. 100,000, sorry. Cell phones which are timid to be highly ex explosive and harm harmful. Uh, is product recall. Okay, thank you. Explosive. We okay, got us thank here. You. Explosive. Product recall. Excellent. Thank you. Number three goes to. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Fernando, you got number three. Okay. Um, Netflix, Netflix received countless complaints when their service went offline because of a faulty glitch in the system that interrupted incoming requests to their main servers. Uh, is IT system failure? Okay. Thank you. Okay. IT system failure. Okay, we're gonna leave it to that. IT. Now let's see, Ramon, you got number four, please. Hello, uh, number four? Yep. The earthquake in Japan, uh, 2011, destroyed many production facilities. Resulting in a facilities facilities yep. resulting in car manufacturers to run low and supplies and causing great economical loss to more to small companies. Okay. Oh, natural disaster. Natural disasters. Perfect. Thank you. And let's see. Danny, would you mind reading number five? Of course. Yeah. A, mass, a massive power interruption in Taiwan caused a great material loss to the production of the new iPhones. It's power outage. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Great. Great material loss. Okay, let me read them for you guys. The fleet crew of the British Airways airlines stopped their usual activities due to a dispute over late payments. Their actions delayed many passengers' strike. Samsung is doubling its effort to recall a lot of 100,000 cell phones, which are deemed to be highly explosive and harmful. Product recall. Netflix received countless complaints when their service went offline because of a faulty glitch in their system that interrupted incoming requests to their main servers. IT system failure. Number four, the earthquake in Japan 2011 destroyed many production facilities, resulting in car manufacturers to run low on supplies and causing great economical loss to small companies. That's natural disasters. And number five, a massive power interruption in Taiwan caused a great material loss to the production of the new iPhones. Power outage. Okay. Now, guys, mm 
Okay. A second that I got a couple of questions for you. We still have a couple of minutes. Let's use it. Okay. Now, nowadays we are facing problems with, well, we are seeing delinquency and I mean, people don't feel safe anywhere nowadays and that's that's something that affects everybody. So I want you to think about this. Oh, by the way, Eliana, thank you very much for your participation. It's cool. Uh, okay. How can you make the outside area around your house safer after it snows imagine guys that it snows here okay and we're gonna change it a little bit because this question i was using it for another activity in my bad sorry i had it changed for you how can you make the outside area around your house safer just like that let's see anna claudia uh, safer yeah the outside area uh, making sure that everything is i don't know if it's correct to say use this word uh, um that is uh, in the same level that would be because we have oh, an it's issue. level it's uh -huh. level it's level because we had an issue with the sidewalk with the sidewalk i'm sorry and due to a I, due to a tree, uh, there was an issue and it was broken. So we had to fix it. And now it's a, a level or a line? No, level. Uh -huh. Yeah, that that is uh, one thing that we did. Okay, perfect. Now. For tomorrow, you will have, uh, thank you, Claudia. For tomorrow, I will, I'm sending you two questions, okay? For you to, this is the one, the correct one. For you to work, answer. And these ones, please, I'm going to send them in the chat, in the Zoom, in the WhatsApp chat. Uh, please, answer them there for the group, for everybody to see, okay? How can you make the outside area around your house safer? What are some safety concerns in the winter when you drive your car? Write them in a little piece of paper, share it with the group, okay? Okay. That's a little homework and that's going to help you to practice writing, okay? Please do it. Now guys, it's time again. I'm sorry for the delay in the last two exercises, but uh, internet connection has not been good today. I don't know in your cases, but here it's been giving me trouble. So let me get it. Ready for you? Okay, Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Alejandro Alfredo Salas Comedias. Present teacher. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Present teacher. Dani Josue Garcia Martinez. Present teacher. Dani Josue. I'm sorry. Present Eloisa teacher. Beatriz Mercado Mancia. Sorry, Dan. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Present. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Thank you, Ileana. Eh, Irina Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present teacher. Okay, oh, before I move on, just to remind you in the WhatsApp group, in the message that I was reading you, there's also the evaluation for the teacher. Don't forget to do it, okay? That's uh, okay. that's optional. That's not mandatory, but 
It's always good. I mean, it helps. It helps a lot. Okay. Jose Marcos Rodriguez Ayala. Present. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Present. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sordo. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Romero López. Present teacher. Thank you. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Present teacher. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. Suleima Ivonne Present. Moreno de Hernández. Thank you, Suleima. Present. Thank you, Suleima. Hey, guys. Thank you very much for being here. Really appreciate you being in my class. Uh, good class, by the way. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Please be on time tomorrow. We got a lot to work. Okay. Sure. Okay. Good evening to everyone. Thank good you, teacher. Good night. Have a good night. Take care. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. See ya. Soon. I have a question, teacher. Yeah, sure. Okay, can I... Can you help me out with the first slide? See the platform that is okay, let me bye Eliana take care platform okay tell me where I'm checking yeah the that's like the first part yes and sorry for for this delay that, that I got no but problem I, yes you just need to tell me the number of the exercise and We'll help yeah, you. Yeah, sorry. I'm checking now. So, oh, is like a two point eight. Oh. Yeah. It's no. Air conditional, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, in the for the first one, I just would like if. She had checked the stock market report. She will, she will have lost so much money. I don't know. Sorry. Right. She wouldn't. She wouldn't. Yeah, it's like we she wouldn't too. Contract. So it is the same. She wouldn't lose so much money. Okay. Copy and paste as I am sending it to you, please. Yeah, yeah, it's correct. No, not really. Sure. So how it how to work for everybody? Did you copy paste or you text it? Yeah, I, actually, I I just checking here because I am myself. Mm, you cannot copy paste from there. No. So, but, but, but I can like take a screen, a screenshot and then I will do it. Okay. So just let me check here. Then hold on a second. Sure. I sent you uh, the rest. So you can get one complete screenshot. Mm -hmm. I think that is just one that is missing, right? Yep, just one. There you go. Okay, yeah, fine. So I have like this kind of doubt because I was checking a different, I think that it 
request just occurred? Oh, uh, I guess check out the the, the apostrophe because uh, sometimes it will accept the apostrophe and sometimes the, the accent. Algunas veces le acepta el apostrofe y en algunas otras la tilde. That happens with, with contractions, you know. A veces pasa eso con las contracciones, que cuando se genera el archivo, uh, los teclados a veces le marcan distinto. Ok, so para, para check Que no le funciona con el... Con el Apóstrofe, póngalo como tilde. Sure, and like it's just the mirror term. Oh, those are the same questions, right? With the mirror yep. term. Okay, awesome. Sure. Oh, pero déjeme ver en el mirror term. Quiero ver cómo aparece. Okay. Yeah, it's the same. It's the same. Yeah, it's the same, exactly the same. Okay. Yeah, but mostly that, that would be the problem. The apostrophe. Sometimes it's apostrophe, sometimes depending on your keyboard, you need to get the tilde. Okay. Okay. So let's see. Okay, hold on, give me just a second. Okay. Gracias. Yeah, no problem, no problem. And you, if you need any other help with the exercises, please don't hesitate. Text me whenever you want, okay? Oh, okay, sure. Thanks so much. Really appreciate that. No problem, no problem. Have a good night. You too, teacher. Have a wonderful night. Bye.
Well, time's up. Cheers.